Good morning children. How are you all? Okay, fine. In the previous class, we discussed about maths and its components. Then, components of maths. Components. Components. Of maths. What are they? First one. Direction. Second one. Action. Second one. Distance. Good. See the distance. Anwar. Stand up and say third one. Good. Symbol. In the previous class, we discussed about direction. Today, I will tell you about distance. Children, do you know what are maps? Maps are drawings which reduce the entire world or a part of it on a sheet of paper. Then, what is the use of a scale? What is scale? Scale is the ratio between the actual distance on the ground and distance shown on a map. For example, your uh, home and the school. The distance between your home and the school is 10 kilometer. 10 kilometer. Then we use, which scale we use? We use 1 centimeter is equal to 5 kilometer. Then 2 centimeter is equal to 10 kilometer. We use the scale 1 centimeter is equal to 5 kilometer. Is it clear children? You use 2 centimeter is equal to 10 kilometer on the Paper. Do you understand this? Okay. Then. The another point is. Large scale map and small scale map. Then. The scale is very important or very helpful to calculate the distance of the two places. Is it clear? Next point is small scale map. Small scale map. Small scale map when large areas like continents, countries are to be shown on paper when we use small scale map. For example, 5 cm on the map shows 500 km of the ground. 500 km. This is called small scale map. The next one is large scale map. Large scale Man. When, when a small area like village or town is to be shown on a map, we use large scale. That means 5 centimeter is equal to 500 meter. This is known as large Scale map 5 centimeter equals 500 meter or 5 centimeter on the map shows 500 meters of the ground. Then large scale map give more information than small scale map. Do you understand this? Okay, just, just a recap on the previous class directions. The cardinal directions are north, west, east and south. Then its sub-directions also. Then a compass is used to find out the direction. Then 
It's a magnetic needle. Compass, magnetic needles point towards north, south direction. Is it clear? That's all for today. Thank you.